You had no permission to put the stone in the middle of the street. I, I don't have permission to put a stone in the middle of the street. We usually put stone in the middle of the street. That's how we operate. This story turned up another notch after we went digging for answers straight from the contractor himself. News 4's Ed Dranch picks up this part of our team coverage tonight. Ed? And down in Jackie, the bus driver blamed the accident on the blinding sun and a massive pile of gravel. As Al said, it was in the middle of the street. Tonight, the construction company owner says he's not taking the blame. No, I'm not at fault. I'm not even close to fault. I didn't run into a stone pile. She did. Carmelo Shasha says his company, Masters Edge Incorporated, is in the clear after this accident on West Woodside Avenue. His crews dumped a massive pile of gravel in the middle of the street. The school bus crashed through that pile before crashing into the house. You should be aware of where you're going at all times. Masters Edge was hired by the city of Buffalo to replace sidewalks in this neighborhood. According to the city, though, you had no permission to put stone in the middle of the street. Yeah, we usually, uh, the uh, city doesn't give us uh, permission to put it down, but occasionally we do. Mistakes happen. So you break the law? No, I don't say we break the law. You just said occasionally you do it without permission. I said we don't break the law. The bus driver returned to the scene hours after the crash. Ma'am, is there anything that you want to say about what happened this morning? Are you okay? She told police the blinding early morning sun stopped her from spotting this pile before it was too late. She got 20 kids in the, in the bus, and she should be aware of she was going. She could have went a little slower instead of what, going around right to the house. Obviously, she was, she was going 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. That's why she ended up in the house. If she was going 10, 15 miles an hour, she wouldn't be where she is today, would she? But sources told News 4 the bus driver was traveling below the speed limit. The city says Shasha's crew is to blame, quote, as per the contract with the city, the contract prohibits dumping or storing gravel on a city right of way. The contractor is therefore responsible for any damages incurred as a result of this accident. And News 4 has learned the bus driver was actually traveling at 18 miles per hour when she crashed. Witnesses say there were no cones around the gravel at that time. The driver has been suspended pending the outcome of an internal investigation. Reporting live tonight, Edge Ranch, News 4 at 5.